Hello, friends. Welcome to The Way Home, Crossmore Communities for Children's Facebook Live show, as well as our podcast. My name is Holly Kessler, and I serve as the Senior Director of Community Relations at Crossmore. Every Tuesday afternoon, we are on Facebook with some of our staff or maybe a community partner. We like to talk about the work that we do here in our community across Western North Carolina and also um, ways that we're engaging our community or helping you learn more about the child welfare system. If you miss our live show, you can always rewatch it on our Facebook feed or catch the show on our YouTube channel. The podcast comes out on Fridays on our website at crossmore.org. So there are plenty of ways to watch our show and engage with us each week. We're super glad that you are here. Today, my guests are Abby Monclova. Abby is the Senior Director of Human Resources here at Crossmore, and Michelle Foster, who's one of our Crossmore Cottage parents on our Winston-Salem campus. Abby and Michelle are gonna talk about the role of cottage parents with the uh, children that we serve here in foster care, as well as other open positions and some benefits of working for Crossmore. So join me today as I welcome Abby and Michelle to the show. Hello, Abby. Hello, Michelle. How are y'all today? Hello. We're glad to be here. Good to have you. Yeah, we're delighted to have you both. So um, we usually start with making some introductions. Um, So Abby, you've been on the show before, but just remind folks who you are, your role at Crossnore, how long you've been with us, whatever else you want to tell us about yourself. Sure, sure. Well, hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us again today. Um, As Holly said, my name is Abby Monclova. I'm the Senior Director of Human Resources. I've been with Crossnor just over four years. Um, And, you know, not only do I serve with a small but powerful HR team, I get to serve with wonderful uh, managers and employees like Michelle you're going to hear from today. and in my spare time, I would say I, I love to eat. So I'm always, uh, you know, my coworkers know I'm up for eating out for lunch or dinner anytime. Uh, my husband and I love to travel and uh, take care of our fur babies. That is awesome. I'll also say you love the Winston-Salem Dash because my husband and I run into y'all occasionally. That's right. That's right. right. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we are so appreciative, Abby, of all that you and your team do here at Crossnor. Michelle, we'll ask you to introduce yourself. Okay. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, I am Michelle Foster, and I am a cottage parent here on the Winston um, campus. Mm-hmm. And um, for me, it's it's like it's just a joy to be here to work with all the kids and get to know them personally. And um, actually, um, I am a um, former daycare provider that was wow. I, I did for 18 years. And so my passion is just just working with kids, and I just can't shake it. So um, that's just my passion. Yeah, that is terrific. How long have you been a cottage parent here? Um, I've been here three and a half years. Oh, gosh, Michelle, I didn't know it had been that long. Oh, time's gone. <laughs> yeah, and that's a long tenure for a cottage parent. That is it terrific. Is. Well, we so appreciate what you do. And so tell us a little bit more about being a cottage parent. A lot of people don't know what that job is. So what... What does it mean to be a cottage parent here at Crossmore? Yeah, for me, it's, it's like, um, I call it a ministry for me um, because I love, you know, working with the kids so much. Um, and like I said before, just getting to know them and doing things with them and um, taking them out shopping and taking them out to eat and mm-hmm. um, travel, you know, doing some little activities on the outside of the campus. Mm-hmm. Um you have to really just have that passion for um, kids Mm -hmm. and um, take it to heart. Mm -hmm. I remember being a a foster parent one time, a lady told me um, that you you, you don't get close to the kids. And, you know, I kind of like looked at her and I was like, no, that that don't sound right. Right. Because every child that I had in my home, I grew attached. To them, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's the same here mm-hmm. on, on campus. Mm-hmm. I get attached sometimes, and you really, really get to know them, and they open up to you and mm-hmm. they talk to you, and that's why I call it a ministry because I'm sewing into them, mm-hmm. um, trying to fill those voids that you know 
that's missing out of their lives. Yeah, yeah. And you're right. We do um, want to help uh, children in our care build, learn how to build healthy attachments. And sometimes that means we have to say goodbye, you know, if they um, get to go back home, which is also a joyful thing, or if, if maybe they're adopted. Um, but that's better than them not having those attachments for sure. Um, tell us a little bit about kind of the logistics. So a cottage parent lives in a cottage with uh, how many kids are in your cottage, Michelle? Right now, as of last night, we have nine boys. Nine boys. Um, when I first came to Cross Noor, I had um, I had girls. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a little different with the boys. Yeah. yeah. Um, the boys will open up to me. The boys open up a little bit more than the girls. Um, yeah. And and they they have that different attachment, right? They're, they you know they kind of like you know they have like this mother attachment because mm -hmm. um, I feel like I'm a nurturer. I nurture. Right. Um, I was telling one of my coworkers this morning that um, you know I I've been nurturing ever since I was like 17, 18 years old, and you know it was it's it's just it's just a joy for me to work with the kids, that you know. Great. I, I just love what I do. Yeah, that is awesome. And so you have a, a partner that you work with and y'all work seven days right. on and seven days so, off. Right? So I have a partner mm -hmm. um, that worked with me for seven days. Mm -hmm. um, and during those seven days, you know, we have just a little simple paperwork we have to do. Mm -hmm. um, we always on my, you know, we have A and B shift. Right. And um, so... We work from Tuesday to Tuesday, and on the following Tuesday, then the B shift come in. Right. So um, I am considered the A shift. Okay. And during that week, I try to make, you know, make it fun during the week. Mm -hmm. um, we go out to eat on Fridays. Mm -hmm. um, we always have an activity um, outside cottage right. on Saturdays. And on Sundays, we go to morning worship. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, that's a plus for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I, I remember my dad telling telling us a long time ago, he said, a house with a weak foundation won't stand. Sure. So in, in my foundation is, you know, part of going to church and worshiping. Yeah. So um, I feel like the, that the kids, either way, you know, sometimes they don't have the same faith that you have. Right. They are willing to go and worship with us on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. And we we also, you know, offer accommodations for kids that maybe have have a different faith. Um, but but we do believe in that spiritual component to healing. So that's why that's part of our, our exactly. cottage parent life or, or our cottage life. Um, so it really just sounds like a family. Um, you guys just yeah. take care of the kids. They go to school. You do homework. You cook dinner. Yeah. Like It's just not meant. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a big family. Most of us don't have nine children, but yeah. you, you take care of nine children. So I do. I do. That's awesome. That is really awesome. Well, Abby, are we hiring more cottage parents? Is that a need that we have at Crosswalk? We are. So um, like Michelle mentioned, you know, cottage parents, we really believe in that title, the ending as, as parent, mm -hmm. because when Michelle's on duty, she is, she is mom, right? right. To, the, to her kids. And um, just like you would in a, you know, your typical household, um, you would have the activities like, like Michelle plans um, for the, for the kids in her care. So um, we certainly are looking for folks. We know it's, it's a very different schedule than that Monday to Friday uh, type of job. It is a, a week on and a week off at a time. And when you're here, you, you move in, right? Michelle brings her stuff every Tuesday and, <laughs> and stays in the cottage. Um, she, you know, wakes up, you know, in the morning and fixes breakfast, gets kids to school and, you know, takes care of all the things after school and in the night as well. So, um, so we are, we're certainly looking for folks that are interested in, um, in providing that support um, for kids in our care. Again, uh, our cottage parents work seven days on, seven days off, mm -hmm. and that, that changeover is on Tuesdays. So we're certainly looking for folks, um, not only on our Winston-Salem campus nice. where um, Michelle works, but also on our Avery campus as well. Good. I'm glad you mentioned that. I was going to say that as well. But Abby, in HR, you're always looking for um, other filling other positions as well. So are there other um, types of positions that we have open, have a need for here? Sure. Um, so, yes, we have um, 
you know, quite a large staff. I think some people are surprised to hear that we um, have, you know, over 260 employees between our campuses. Um, and not only do we have our folks that take care of our kids in direct care, um, in addition, you know, other direct care jobs we're looking for are folks that work in foster care and adoptions mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And then we have those what I call kind of back office uh, support jobs, which is where HR exists. Right. Uh, we're actually looking uh, to expand the HR team right now. We have a position open uh, that's new uh, for HR. Uh, we also are looking for folks that work in our admissions department as well. So it, it certainly takes a lot to uh, keep our organization going. Absolutely does. And those position openings, um, I don't have to tell you this, Abby, but they they can change, you know, in an instant. So that's right. <laughs> um, so if you don't have the position you're looking for today, you know, check back with us. You never know when something might come open. Right. That is that is true. We update our jobs uh, no less than weekly. Um, yeah. And you can see that uh, we uh, definitely, you know, the main place for that is on our website. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the hub for our jobs. But we share those typically on Facebook, mm -hmm. on LinkedIn. Um, we encourage folks to share our posts when they see them on Facebook and LinkedIn and other places. Our jobs also get pushed out to Indeed and other um, career websites as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, because we are really always hiring, so we have an orientation process that starts every three weeks. So you're usually able to get people in fairly quickly, right? If they do their paperwork and, you know, everything uh, checks out, then you can usually get people in um, in that next class pretty quickly. We do our best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, you know, we are in the business that we're in. There there are, you know, lots of steps uh, yeah. with our new hires. And uh, we have a recruiting manager, Angela Voss, who does a fabulous job with making mm -hmm. sure um, everyone, um, you know, completes paperwork. We get those background checks, all the things that are those pre-hire activities. Um, and we also, you know, we know sometimes folks are coming to us um, from other locations. So we want to make sure that, you know, you honor your notice if you'd like to right. give one um, and, and work with, you know, coming up in the summer, we got to work with those vacations that are pre-planned too. Yes. So we certainly try to do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, of course, Abby, everybody always wants to know what kind of benefits um, does Crossmore offer? Um, I think especially as a nonprofit, and I personally think we have great benefits, but tell us about some of those. Well, I love that you think that, Holly, because yes. I think it too, but I'm, I'm a little biased because I'm in HR, right? So we work, that's part of our job is to, right. to work hard on uh, making sure that that, you know, the total compensation for an employee that um, is here is not just salary, right? Mm -hmm. It's your benefits as well. And, and, and we are a nonprofit that employs wonderful people like Michelle who have a passion for what they're doing, but you're, it's still a job, right? Mm -hmm. And so we want you to be um, adequately compensated. So, so in addition to compensation, we um, have of a robust benefits program, medical dental vision, um, ancillary products too, like disability life insurance. Mm -hmm. um, we have different tiers of medical benefits. So for example, if you elect our silver level for medical, dental, and vision, you can actually get that for less than a dollar a paycheck. Um, mm -hmm. So I think we, you know, we really try to make sure that our, and that's for employee only, but we try to make sure that our benefits are affordable mm -hmm. um, and helpful to our staff. Uh, we also uh, match 401k up to 6%. Um, so we feel like that's a pretty competitive uh, rate for our market. Um, and then the other thing that I would you know, point out as well is that we, um, I feel like we have very generous PTO. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And we also really prioritize mental health benefits for our staff as well. Uh, for anyone, any employee that's enrolled in our medical plan, um, they can see a mental health um, provider at no copay. And we really wow. work hard to keep that as a benefit because um, we are in the business of um, providing a mental health support to the children that we serve. And mm -hmm. so we believe that that's high priority for our staff mm -hmm. as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, of course, there's always intangible benefits um, at, at the place that you work as well. And so, Michelle, you've already mentioned that you really see your role um, as, as a ministry that you do. But but is there another or a couple even intangible benefits that you you really get from from your work that you enjoy about being here at Crossmore? Um, I would say. Um, well. For one, 
it's it's like I have time for um, self care. Mm-hmm. Um, I do. We had a yoga class um, a while back, and I really picked up yoga. So wow. um, for me, I love that I can have my self care. Mm-hmm. You know, um, kids in school, mm-hmm. and you know, I can use use that time to do things that mm-hmm. take care of me. Yeah. Take care of me. Yeah. And um, I was bringing um, like my supplies and stuff for my yoga here, but then I stopped. But anyway, long story short, I do it at home on a regular, and I'm really, really taking pride in that, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I That's love awesome. it. That is awesome. So that was a, a yoga day that our um, staff care team provided. And so you didn't you didn't do what I did. I went to yoga day and haven't done yoga since. But you've picked it up as a habit. So that's terrific. Right, right. I love it. <laughs> that's great. Abby, what about you? What are some intangible benefits you feel like there are here at Crossnorm? Uh, well, a couple of things, you know, uh, Michelle and I were joking earlier because she said, are you still doing yoga? And I said, did you see how I did yoga on yoga day? It was, did I look like, a prof- you know, uh, I try, I try, but it was fun. We mm-hmm. had a great time, um, you know, and it was a, it was open to our staff and our kids in care. So mm-hmm. we all got out there and was, in, you know, last summer and was doing yoga. We're doing that again this summer, having another yoga day. Um, but a couple of things that I'll mention, I love that we um, do try to provide as much flexibility as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, not every job can can do that. There's certainly things that keep us here uh, at certain hours. But but like Michelle said, with with um, cottage parents, yes, yeah, seven days on, seven days off is a tough schedule. Um, but but we hope that we provide as much flexibility as possible while they're on shift and, and, you know, really honor those seven days off as well. Mm -hmm. Um, And the same thing for our kind of Monday through Friday staff. We, we have some folks that have different schedules and we just try to make sure that we keep that in balance. Mm -hmm. Um, We have some folks that have hybrid work opportunities where um, sometimes your job keeps you here on campus. Sometimes you can do it remotely. So we, again, try to work with folks um, if if your job allows for that flexibility. Um, And another thing I, I would mention is our campuses are beautiful. It's nice to, yeah. nice to come to work where, especially this time of year where things are blooming, um, our, our campuses are just in pretty places. And I think mm-hmm. that um, for me, being surrounded by a pretty location uh, helps my mood. Uh, yeah. So, And we just opened, you know, on the Winston campus, the trail, uh, the mm-hmm. walking trail with people mm-hmm. and Conservancy just opened. So, um you know, we have lots of encouragement to get outside on our campuses, which I think is a great benefit. Absolutely. And I appreciated that you mentioned that flexibility. I know in I'm in external relations. And so we do a lot of events. So we're working nights or I mean, this morning at, I left home at 730 because I had to be at a community event at eight o'clock. You know, we'll do Saturday events and that kind of thing. And so to have some flexibility around, you know, not tied to my desk from eight to five. Uh, and if I need to take a few hours off because I worked, come in late because I worked the night before. Some like, you know, that kind of flexibility is super, super helpful. Right. Um, one of the questions I wanted to ask both of you, um, and, and I'll answer it first. What, if somebody said to you, what's your favorite thing about working at Crossnor? What would that be? And I'll give you a second to, to think about it. I would say, and you mentioned it, Abby, when you're talking about our tangible benefits, it's our PTO. And I'm not saying that like you ask a kid what's their favorite subject in school and they say recess. I don't mean it that way. I mean, we just have such a generous PTO policy that, you know, sometimes it's hard to, to get it all in and scheduled, you know, each year. But not only do we have that, that PTO we offer to employees, we set the expectation that you take it. And I know some places, you know, yes, they you have this PTO, but maybe we maybe we frown a little if you have to be gone or oh do you really have to take that week off or something like that so here at cross Store, we so believe in self-care as michelle mentioned and so really encouraging our staff to take their pto and to use it so that's one of my favorite things about uh working at cross Store because we really do want our staff to to figure out that balance for themselves and to be taking good care of themselves Michelle, what would you say is your favorite thing about working at Crossmark? I love the fellowship. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
because I remember when I first um, came to Cross Snore, um, Miss Abby, I've never told her this before, but <laughs> Miss Abby saw me like a, the first ship I was on and she called me by my name. Yeah. That just like, I was like, oh, she remember my name? Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, I love the fellowship. Yeah. Everybody's so friendly here. Um, and they open up to you, let you know, you know, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Um, you doing well today? And I always want to know how everybody's doing. So yeah. for me, it's the fellowship. I would agree with that too, uh, Michelle. It's great when we, if we're doing trainings across departments or, you know, if we just run into each other in the admin building or on campus to, to just have that, those relationships, regardless of what our jobs are. Um, it, that's, that's, right. a real, that's a, that's a favorite for sure. What about you, Abby? What's your favorite thing? Well, Michelle, thank you for sharing that. That means a lot to me. And I, you know, I appreciate you remembering my name too. Uh, so, uh, so we, you know, our, our people are so important. Um, and I, when you ask that question, Holly, the, the first immediate thing that pops up to me are the people that I get to work with. Yeah. Um, we, you know, my, our HR team is fabulous. Um, our, our folks that are in direct care are wonderful. Um, so I'm just very blessed that I get to, to come to work and work, work with this group because we, we spend a lot of time together at work, right? Um, <laughs> yes, uh, we might see our coworkers more <laughs> than our families sometimes on busy days. And, you know, especially for our cottage parents, you know, yeah. the, these folks are, are living with us 24 seven, you know, mm-hmm. during their shift mm-hmm. uh, and living with their coworkers. So it's, you know, that fellow fellowship and 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 caring for one another um, and how we show up is so important and I am very lucky to work with a team that um, and just co all my co-workers who show up and give 110 percent and that you know that means a lot absolutely absolutely and I love that you mentioned teams because we are all part of of a team or multiple teams even and it's great to have um those teams and know that we can rely on each other. We can fill in for each other and um, just support and encourage each other, have that fellowship like Michelle mentioned. So, um, well, guys, I really appreciate you being here and sharing about your work at Crossnor. Abby, for folks who maybe are listening to the podcast, it's been scrolling across the same screen, but folks who've been listening, tell them where they can find out more about Crossnor and about our career openings. One, yes, definitely. So um, just go to our webpage. It's crossnor.org slash careers. Um, or if you can't remember all of that, just, just Google Crossnor. We'll come up yeah. and under the about section, uh, our careers page is listed there. So, so check those out. Again, we're updating those regularly. Very good. Well, Abby and Michelle, thank you so much for taking time out of your very busy days um, to be with us this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you. Absolutely. As I've thanked our guests for today, let me also say thanks to each of you who are watching or listening. We have so appreciated the opportunity to tell you about Crossnor during this inaugural season of The Way Home. We'll be taking a break during the summer and look forward to our second season starting back on September the 12th. In the meantime, you can catch up on any episodes you've missed on our YouTube channel or on our blog. And for more information about Crossnor, please visit our website at crossnor.org and follow us on our social media channels on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. That's it for today, but I hope you have a great summer and that you will be back to join us again in September on the way home.